Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, dude, just got back from skateboarding. Yeah, I, I had like literally the worst day at work. What? And I just had to, I, it's like 18 degrees outside and I had to just go. I feel that. Just literally just get out of here and just skateboard all that stuff off. I can't feel my nose or like my hands or anything right now, but it was totally worth it. It's always worth it, man. Skateboarding's a move. Right, yeah. So here's why, okay? Today at work, right, so we had a guy teach us a, a skill today. I'll just be straight with you. It was on tripods. We were, uh, we were learning some camera stuff. He was teaching us about tripods for over an hour and a half. And then he broke down into other stuff. And then we sat there in a class that was supposed to be like, you know, maybe 30, 45 minutes long. And it turned into three and a half hours. What? Three and a half hours. We talked about base level camera stuff. Ein sehr talentierter Kameramann, Antonio Margheriti. Und Antonio's Kameraassistent, Dominique de Coco. I don't know about you, but I can only watch PowerPoint for so long, right? Dude, I hate PowerPoint. Exactly. So, I'm sitting here and like 15 minutes into this presentation, I'm already checked out. It's kind of like, I feel like it's always like that, like with a class and stuff. Like when I was in college, like I just, I don't know. I just, it, when I had to walk into a lecture, I mentally checked out. I think I only had like one teacher who legitimately was passionate about what they did and didn't just bring a canned PowerPoint to lecture the class on for an upcoming test so that I can cram it. Reading a long paragraph exactly as it appears on the PowerPoint slide about a shocking statistic I just learned about, followed by all kinds of vague lingo that no one will remember two seconds from now, capped off by three bullet points. So. That's not how I learned. I don't know about you. It's not how I learn either. No? Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure. I don't know about you. Like, I just, I can't learn that way. I don't learn with PowerPoint. It stresses me out. My attention span doesn't last that long. And they cr tried to cram three and a half hours worth of information in my brain all at once. And it was just ridiculous. And it was, it was out of control. Like, we stopped learning and just went into like this tangential discussion of just basically bull. Yeah. And I am, ex and I got home and I'm stressed out and I'm just tired. I get to look forward to going back and doing it again. I don't know about you guys. I don't think that's how we learn. I think there's a better way to learn. I think it doesn't involve PowerPoint. <sighs> I know Kung Fu. Show me. I don't think it involves necessarily just sitting down and listening to a one-way conversation. I love the teacher that walks in and says, oh, you know, I want this to be like a group discussion. I don't want this to be a one-way discussion. Right. And then they lecture for an hour and a half. That's contradicting. Like, yeah. Like, I think we need more strategies in the classroom. You know, some YouTube clips, some personal anecdotes that the teacher can use, hands-on stuff. You know, if we're learning something on a computer, every student has a computer in front of them, or, you know, every two students have a computer where they can do exactly what is being talked about in real time. There's this thing called like a jigsaw strategy or something, I don't remember, where each group is responsible for teaching a certain skill set. I mean, you could, you, group ideas exactly. move. Yeah. So I just, I think we need to, we need, this needs to be fixed. I don't have all the perfect solutions. Just if you're a teacher or an instructor of some sort, anything like that, take PowerPoint out of your curriculum completely. Throw it away and forget the idea of a one-way lecture. It doesn't work. It does not work and it stresses your students out. What? Say what again? Say what again? And it is not an effective way for them to retain information. Not only that, but the average attention span is like 15 minutes. So you need a, a video clip or somebody acting something out, a group activity or something hands-on, something every like, I don't know, 15 or 30 minutes to keep people engaged. Cause if you just start talking, I'm gone. What do you think? I totally agree, man. Um, we're actually gonna drop a link in the bottom with like 50 different ways that you can do uh, teach a class without lecturing. So that should help a bunch. Right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Check the description. Sorry, I'm in all the all the skateboard stuff. I still got my knee pads on and everything. Yeah. At least know that if it's a long day and you're super tired and you can't stand your professor, your instructor, or anybody anymore, you can always go out and skate. We skate for fun.
We're soul skaters. Let's go show them what soul skating is all about. We got plenty of blog posts, pretty cool stuff coming up this week, so make sure that you are following theartofunpredictability.com and make sure you subscribe to this channel because we're gonna be making more videos to help you shake up your routine. Peace!